And, of course, I was out with my daddy looking at different places to uh, wind up with a building for a church. Uh, it's the same old story over and over again. Get into a place and then look. <laughs> well, anyway, uh, we spent a whole week looking and, and then... Uh, Daddy run on to a guy by the name of Henry Breckberg. Henry Breckberg knew of these people that owned this little place out on a road called Mission Road. So we went out there. And anyway, here was a uh, little uh, building. It was a small place and... Uh, kind of a bloody filthy mess. So, anyway, we got it because the price was right. It did have a basement to it, concrete affair. Anyway, you know who slept downstairs, but I liked it because uh, I was down there by myself. I was a little more shielded than the parents because if a car ran off the road, in front of the house, it would have went into uh, where my mother and dad were sleeping. And this had must have happened before because uh, the wall looked like it. looked like a car had went into it. We found out later it did. Luckily, no cars drove through it. And this was the uh, church building in uh, Kodiak, Alaska, 19 and... This uh, one building was uh, didn't have uh, enough area or space in it for a church, so uh, we started in looking around for uh, another place, uh, another uh, way of uh, building onto it. Now uh, there was a lumber yard in uh, Kodiak, lumber in. Uh, Kodiak isn't all that great. It's uh, cut out of that uh, Kodiak spruce and uh, the trees uh, start in limbing from the uh, clear from the top, of course, clear to the ground and the lumber was full of knots and everything else. And Not only that, but it cost an arm and a leg and a, a whole loaf of bread for uh, a board. So, uh, Daddy started in looking around, and uh, we found out that uh, there were uh, permits to be had out on the uh, Kodiak Navy base. So uh, you could uh, get a permit to tear down some of these buildings, and by tearing them down, you were able to salvage the lumber out of them, and uh, you could uh, go ahead and... Uh, build whatever you wanted to with these uh, buildings, which could be had uh, real cheap as the Navy was wanting to get rid of them. Well, anyhow, uh, that's uh, what we did. So, away we went. Uh, I can remember uh, helping Daddy out there as we tore down some of these buildings. Uh, the way we tore some of them down was kind of uh, amusing. We'd take a stick of dynamite and cut it into six equal parts. And anyway, we'd hang it in the, uh, on a long uh, string uh, down the middle of the building. And then uh, we'd set these uh, pieces of uh, dynamite off at once. And the, uh, in the, uh, room that we were working in. And, uh, anyway, the concussion would, uh, blow the boards out. And, uh, when the concussion died, uh, from the explosion, well, uh, then the boards would settle back. And we'd go along with our nail pullers. And we'd pull nails. Well, it didn't damage the lumber or anything like that. And uh, it uh, was made tearing these old uh, buildings down real easy. So uh, 
Anyway, I can remember one guy coming up and uh, asking Daddy a bunch of questions about what he was doing, and Daddy told him how uh, we uh, uh, rigged this dynamite uh, in uh, the building, and he also told this man how much dynamite to use and uh, give him a formula for... Uh, figuring the square feet against uh, how much dynamite in uh, one area. So uh, this guy, he uh, looked real wise and thanked Daddy uh, for uh, telling him. And then uh, this man uh, went over to his own building later on, and uh, he figured that uh, if uh, Daddy and I were using just uh, roughly a sixth of uh, a stick of dynamite for uh, every so square feet. Well, then uh, a little more would do real good. So uh, this guy, he uh, about doubled his charge. And uh, anyway, Daddy and I were out there in our building that uh, we were working on and tearing off lumber. And uh, we heard this humongous explosion. Anyway, it was only about uh, half a mile away, so uh, we uh, got in our Jeep and uh, we uh, tore off over there and uh, we come on this building where the dust was still uh, up in the air and uh, the sticks were just settling. And uh, what this guy had done, he had figured that uh, if a little bit to do just right, well, then a whole much should uh, do a whole lot greater. So he used a, a bunch more dynamite, and he blew his building all to perdition when he set it off. I thought it was funny. We got a big laugh out of that. 